Hello again, racing fans. This is Tony Salvaro with this Maywood Park Alert. On this alert, we're going to focus tonight's eighth race, Invitational number one, Brooklyn Bell. With us direct in the paddock is Doug Hamilton. Doug, we are watching Brooklyn Bell, and this was a little while ago as she went her uh, final warm-up mile. Could you tell us something about her? Well, Tony, I don't know a whole, whole lot about her. I'd say I've had her 30 days and trained her. She, she acts like a pretty decent Philly trainer. She's a, the class she's in tonight is going to be a pretty good test for her, but uh, uh, I think she'll be all right. All right, now, some of the names from the past, Doug, and your reputation is uh, really one of the top uh, Philly mare trainers that we've ever had in Chicago. Gutsy Osborne, Flying Speed, Osborne's Lady, Wendy Skipper, just to name a few. Those are some top-notch pacers, but this filly is bred to maybe uh, be just as good as the rest of those. Well, she, she's a Ralph Hanover, Tony, and uh, uh, the Ralph Hanovers haven't really been all that strong yet, but uh, 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 she knows how to win races, so I'm sure that's going to help her a little bit. All right, and how did she warm up tonight, Doug? How do you think she took to the half-miler? She warmed up pretty good. I'm going to have to put a head pole on her. Uh, I was training her over at Balmore on the 5H track. She didn't need it, but she's going to need it out here. I don't know if she's ever had one on, but we're going to find out here pretty quick. For these many years you've been in, a, in the Chicago area, you've uh, made a lot of racing fans, and all at once Doug Hamilton was gone for some 13 months. Could you tell the fans uh, what happened to you in those 13 months? Well, Tony, I had an automobile accident, and I uh, had a complete dislocation of the talus, which is your heel, and it severed all the ligaments on the bottom of my foot, and it, uh, uh, from, from not using it, the... The ligaments and everything's set up, but they're starting to loosen up now. All right, and you feel pretty good? Yes, sir. Well, it's good to have you back. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Doug Hamilton, one of Chicago's finest, on this Maywood Park Alert. Here's the field for the eighth. Number one is Brooklyn Bell and Doug Hamilton. Number two, Denial Leader, Daryl Bussey. Three is Never Miss and Randy Jacobs. Number four is First Egyptian, Terry Leonard. Five is Fox Valley Red Hot and Jim Krabs. Six is Pompano Miss and Richard Oldfield. Number seven, Unmentionable, B. Farber Erdman. Number eight is Waskily Wabbit. Mark Aubin Drives. That's the field. Eight minutes. Here they come. They're all fan pacing between horses, Annihilator. There goes Brooklyn Bell, charging through on the inside, but Waskily Wabbat is four wide on the outside as they drive for position. And there goes Never Miss as she splits horses. On the inside is Brooklyn Bell, second, but Waskily Wabbat is third, moving to second on the outside and with a rush. Waskily Wabbat up to challenge and now take command. It's Never Miss in second, Brooklyn Bell in third, now by three legs, followed by Denial. Later, it's unmentionable. They're by the quarter, 28 seconds for that Waskily Wabbit. Has the lead in the real length and a quarter, never miss. He's right there in second, a length and a quarter, Brooklyn Bell. In third, never length and a half, unmentionable. Is moving up in fourth, followed on the outside of horses by first Egyptian. Then comes the Nile leader, Pompano Miss, and trending to the half mile marker. That's Fox Valley Red Hot. As she moves between horses, they're driving by the half. Waskily Wabbit has the lead. 59 seconds for that Waskily Wabbit into the clubhouse turn, but unmentionable is charging second on the outside. Followed on the inside, it's never miss in third. From the outside of horses, here comes first Egyptian. Followed on the inside by Brooklyn Bell. Now they curve into the back stretch, approaching the final quarter. Waskily Wabbit a neck. It's unmentionable on the outside. Second, first Egyptian is charging into third. Here comes Fox Valley Red Hot, surging three wide. Now they drive into the far turn. On the outside, it's unmentionable. On the inside, it's Waskily Wabbit. Followed on the outside, first Egyptian. Fox Valley Red Hot is four wide. Here they come, turning for home. It's unmentionable with the lead. On the outside, it's first Egyptian. Fox Valley Red Hot, four wide. Never misses there. Down the stretch, unmentionable with the lead. On the outside, it's first Egyptian. Here comes Brooklyn Bell. Three horses at the bar. That is a photo. Returning to the winner's circle, eighth race winner, number seven, unmentionable. 
Unmentionable is owned by the Proudfoot Farms of Franklin, Michigan. Trained by Luke Dalton. Driven to victory by B. Farber Erdman. That is official. Time for the mile one, 59, two faps. Eighth race run down is two, seven, five, three, four, eight, one, six on the bottom. And the Perfecta of 7-1 returns $341 even. 